the U world. So you see, this x and the x cancel, very nice, and we have 2 over 3, so let's put that outside of the integral. And then let's just go ahead and finish everything that you world. So you will go from 1 to infinity, and um, Dear calculus students, this integral is an example that if you don't know what to do, then just go ahead and do a u sub. In fact, we'll just let u equal the square root part right here, and then we'll just go ahead and do the usual business. So differentiate both sides, we get du is equal to the derivative of that is 1 over 2 times that, and then use the Chengdu multiplied by the derivative inside, which is 3x squared, and then don't forget to have the dx. And now let's multiply the reciprocal on both sides so we can get the dx by itself. And we'll just have 2 square root of x to the third power minus 1 over 3x squared. And then here we have the du. And now let's take this integral to the u world, including this and that. So as you can see, when we put this inside here, the cube root and the cube cancel. <laughs> Right, and then we have 2 minus 1 inside, and then take the square root, we just get 1. So it actually works out pretty well. And then when we put infinity here, we just get infinity. So u goes from 1 to infinity. And then the rest is 1 over, this is x, and this guy is our u, and dx is that. So here we have 2. And notice, this guy is just nicely equal to our u. So I'm just going to put down 2u, and then here we have the rest, 3x squared, and then also the du. This works out really well, because first we see that the u and u cancel, and we have the 2 over 3, let's just put it on the outside, so here we have 2 over 3, and then we'll integrate from 1 to infinity, and we'll finish everything that you will. This is going to be just 1 over x times x squared, we get x to the third power. Hmm. So what do we do next? Shall we just put natural log of x to the third power? No, don't do that. Shall we write x to the third power as x to the negative 3 power? Don't do that either. Why? Because we are in the u world. So do not integrate this as an x to the negative 3 power. Don't do that. What we really have to do is take a look at this right here. Let's go ahead and square both sides so we can see u squared is equal to x to the third power minus 1, and then add 1 on both sides, so x to the third power is equal to u squared plus 1. Aha! So this guy, it has to be replaced by that. So ladies and gentlemen, this right here is going to be 2 over 3 integral from 1 to infinity of 1 over, that is u squared plus 1, and then we are in the u world. Okay, so we'll just get 2 over 3 and then integral of that is the inverse tangent of u and then we'll just plug in numbers, 1 and infinity. So when we plug in infinity, we get 2 over 3 and then we have the inverse tangent of infinity. Of course, we're talking about taking the limits right here. And then we are going to minus the second part is 2 over 3 times the inverse tangent of 1. So that's not so bad, because we actually know that, and we actually know this. Inverse tangent of infinity is pi over 2. And this right here, inverse tangent of 1, is pi over 4. So let's just go ahead and work out the fractions and things like that. So in fact, you see that this 2 and that 2 cancel. So the first part is pi over 3, and then the next part, Reduce this, reduce that, so we have pi over 6. So we minus pi over 6. And then in the end, we can just get the common denominator, multiply this by 2, and you see 2 pi minus pi is pi. And then, of course, the denominator is 6. And then we are done. So this is how you deal with that integral.